Hello and welcome to Dala Creative TV. I am artist Veronica Olivier and today we are going to have some fun with soft chalk pastels. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel to be notified of new free videos. I think you are going to be excited about this video where I will do 10 amazing soft pastel techniques. Because soft pastels is a little bit different from other mediums, we often get confused about how to use it. As a mixed media artist, I often use mark making and other techniques in my artwork. So today I will show you different techniques to use soft pastels in mixed media. I'm using ordinary mixed media paper to demonstrate the techniques because pastel papers can become quite pricey so I would suggest that you uh, practice your um, techniques before you work on pastel paper. I'm going to start with blending and um, blending is quite common to pastel painting. You can get interesting colors with different combinations and uh, many people think that because soft pastels is a, a dry medium that you cannot mix colors but you can get some um, different color effects that i will show you so here you can see what happens if the pastels just blend over itself you can see in the middle that it renders a greenish um, color because obviously if you um, mix blue and yellow in paint you get green. The end result uh, may also differ depending on which color you put down first. So here I'm going to put down the yellow first and I will um, do blue over it. And now I'm going to start with the blue and then blend the yellow over it. And you will see the, the different results in the two greens that you get depending on which color you used first. You can see the top one is more a blue green and the bottom one more a yellow green. Of course, you can also blend with tools. You can use uh, um, paper, uh, paper pens. You can blend with your finger, with sponges, um, with earbuds, with soft cloths. Um, I'm just using a paper pen here and or a paper stump and I'm going to blend the pastels with that to create a greenish color. And like I said, you can also use your finger um, just to blend the colors together to get a very soft um, effect. Okay, next is hatching. Um, hatching, hatching is a technique often used in drawing. It is mostly used to get various effects of shading when you draw um, with this technique. Um, and then you can also um, create patterns by drawing lines in various directions um, right next to each other. Here you will see that I just made all the lines next to each other and now I am demonstrating the pattern. Okay, so cross hatching is exactly uh, what it um, says. It is um, crossing one line over the other. 
Now you can use the same color to create darker shades or you can um, use a different color to create the illusion of a new color. Okay, so next up is the side stroke. Now side stroke is, comes in really handy if you want to cover a large area of background very quickly. So um, yeah, the side stroke is exactly what I'm demonstrating here. It's using the side of your pastel. And of course you can also blend with side stroke um, to create a new color. And um, yes, yeah, so you don't have to just use the tip of your pastel to draw with. You can also use the broad side. Next up is broken color. Now broken color is used um, to create the illusion of a new color. Um, it is not quite the same as pointillism because the marks is bigger and random and um, just put it down um, everywhere on the paper. So I love using this as a mark making technique um, in my uh, mixed media backgrounds. So I'm using blue and pink here and I'm just going to demonstrate what happens if you use two different colors. You put the blue down first and then add the pink and then of course at the bottom I've put the pink down first and then I'm going to add the blue and you'll be surprised to see the different results of the illusion of color that um, this technique is creating depending on which color you use first. Okay, so this is just amazing. Just look at the different results. It's exactly the same two pastels. I just alternated which one I started with. Okay, next up is feathering. Um, this is a technique uh, where every single line that you use on your um, paper goes in the same direction. Now um, you can use feathering to create um, patterns on certain um, parts of your image. Um, like for example, if you do a leopard or a tiger, you can use feathering to do the coat, the fur coat, um, and to do the spots. But of course you can draw an entire painting um, with this technique. To create the spots, I am just um, drawing the lines in the same direction over the first color and um, just add the colors until I'm happy with the result. Okay, next up is dusting. I absolutely love this technique just because it is so different and unusual and it creates interesting marks on my backgrounds. Now you can use a craft knife or a small grater. Um, all you need to do is to get some pastel particles onto your paper. Now if you leave it like this, of course, when you pick up your artwork, it's going to fall off. So we need to compress it. To the paper and you can easily do that with wax paper or with tracing paper. I'm just going to use um, some of Dala's tracing paper and all you have to do is put your paper over it and then press quite hard onto it 
to make sure that the particles um, goes into the paper. I love this technique. I just shake off a little bit of the excess and there you have it. It won't come off and it creates really, really interesting marks on a mixed media background. Next up is pointillism. I used to love this when I did this in school with pencil, making complete drawings just with dots. Now pointillism is um, a technique where you make um, small points or dots um, with a pencil or a pastel and um, yes you can create your whole painting by using this technique. Now to get um, different shades of lightness and darkness, all you do is you make um, the points or the dots closer together if you want to create a darker shade and further apart if you want to create a lighter shade. Of course, you can also use this technique to create the illusion of a new color by using two different colors or even more if you want to. Scumbling is just random strokes. Um, that you um, do with a pen or in this case a soft pastel just squiggly random marks in various directions um, to create a scumbling effect now like with most of the other techniques you can also create the illusion of a new color by using two different um, colors um, and drawing random lines together Now I'm illustrating how to create a lighter um, version of this orange pastel. I'm not creating a new color, but I want to create a lighter version of this orange. So I'm going to use um, the yellow um, or yeah, the yellow, a light yellow to draw in between to create a lighter version. Okay, rolling is also very interesting, um, not many people know of this technique, but you use your pastel and just instead of drawing with it, you just randomly move it around, rolling it, twisting it and creating um, different line widths and pressures um, to make your artwork interesting. Now twisting is also kind of a rolling technique but you use the broad side of your pastel to create energetic marks 
um, by um, using it um, flat and twisting and turning it to make kind of like a ribbon effect this this will work perfect to get um, different shades in clouds Okay, so here you have it, um, 10 different techniques that I like to use um, soft pastels in my mixed medium artwork on the backgrounds especially to create um, different colors, interesting lines and unique marks. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, until next time, goodbye!